We are on our way to Rizitsu, the largest ski resort in Hokkaido. And in this video, we'll show you exactly what you can expect from how to get there, prices, facilities, terrain, and more, just to help you make your decision on if Rizutsu is the right resort for you to visit. Let's start out with how to get there. You can rent a car with an international license in Japan, and it's about a two hour drive from downtown Sapporo to Rizutsu Resort. But luckily there's a free shuttle bus for anyone to use that leaves right outside Sapporo Station. And there's a link to the reservation website as well as the location of the bus pickup in the description. The bus takes about two hours and there's a bathroom break in the middle of the trip. We arrived at Rizutsu, and it was time to pick up our K Winter Passes. This is a season's pass that gives you access to unlimited skiing or snowboarding at four mountains in Hokkaido for just about $600 each. For a one day adult lift ticket, it's about $67, and ski and snowboard rentals are about $62. If you need all the equipment you need to ski or snowboard, it's about $135 for one day. Accommodation near the mountain is available to ballers with tons of money, but staying in Sapporo is better because there's not much of a village at Rizutsu Resort. And there's a free shuttle anyway. At least that's our excuse. Pretty cool resort so far. Oh, it's a theme park. It's really fun. Rizutsu has three mountains. The West, East, and Isola. The West Mountain is the closest to the hotel and convention center where you get dropped off at. And this is the smallest of the three that's meant primarily for beginners or families with children. But there's a few surprises too. There's also a little area for absolute beginners to learn at, but lessons here aren't exactly cheap. And I already taught Eugene to ski just like myself, without any proper techniques at all. So we went straight to the lifts, and we're ready to shred. You can see immediately that despite all the snow Rizutsu gets, there are still smooth groomed runs for beginners to learn on. And that's why you can see so many people learning here. The beginner runs on West Mountain are filled with ski and snowboard schools, but there is enough space for everyone to avoid each other easily. Also Rizutsu gets so much snow in general, that there can definitely be build up throughout the day. When it comes to the intermediate runs, they are basically just steeper versions of the beginner runs. Still smooth and groomed, but when it snows a lot, they were really good for Yujin to learn how to ski in a bit of powder since she has almost skied primarily on man-made snow before this season. The groomed advanced runs on West Mountain are great for intermediate skiers and boarders to step up their game. But for advanced and expert riders, the ungroomed runs aren't as long or diverse as what you find on the other mountains, especially since the gondola is closed right now. But this is where the surprise comes in. I noticed that not many people ride the trees on West Mountain, so there's a lot of powder buildup even days after a snowfall, which makes it so Eugene can practice her skills on the runs, and I can ski the powder and the trees at the same time. When it comes to facilities, first of all there is the Rizutsu Hotel where you get off the bus. Here you can find a ski shop, convenience store, restaurants, and cafes. However, when you're riding it's easiest to go to one of the four lodges located all over the resort, which offer snacks, budget meals like hot dogs and fries, or Japanese food which is at a pretty reasonable price for a ski resort and tastes really good too. They even have vending machines that serve Sapporo beer which tastes way better in Japan than the import Sapporo I've tried before. It was time to check out the East Mountain, which requires taking a gondola from the West Mountain. We noticed on the gondola ride that people were riding snowmobiles, 
And looking at the website, there seems to be quite a few activities for people to do in the winter. But most of them are way out of our budget, and we're here to ski. Going up the East Quad Chair, we could see another lift and area for beginners to learn on. There are no beginner runs on the East Chair though, so make sure you go up the East Number 1 pair lift if you aren't ready for intermediate runs yet. There's also a pretty decent park with a jump line that leads into a rail line. It didn't open until late January, and Rizutsu gets so much snowfall that I haven't had the urge to check it out to be honest. But it looks pretty fun. The East Mountain is a good place for intermediate skiers to get the hang of longer runs. There's a lot of space to carve, and not many people seem to ride them. So I'd recommend intermediate riders to spend a lot of time here if the weather is okay. But this section of Rizutsu gets the most wind by far, so you might just have to skip it all together. Woo! <laughs> The East Mountain doesn't have many marked advanced runs, but it has plenty of trees to ride that aren't quite as popular as the runs of Mount Isola. So there's a chance you can find a few areas with decent snow even a couple days after snowfall. Also one amazing thing about Rizutsu is that they show you very clearly when you're approaching an area that leads away from the resort. Probably shouldn't go down there. So you can just ride the trees with ease and not worry too much about missing the lift. Now let's go to Mount Isola, the tallest of the three mountains, with by far the most runs and variety. We saved the best for the last intentionally, as it is here where you find what makes Rizutsu a special place. Alright, day three at Rizutsu. It's been snowing almost 10 centimeters every night, so uh, now we're gonna see what Rizutsu is like on a snowy day. Steamboat A and B are nice groomed runs off the Isola 1 chairlift for intermediate riders, and on a powdery day you can easily ride the trees beside them. And for advanced and expert riders, the trees under the Isola number one lift offer a ton of variety for some really fun runs. The only thing about the Isola number one trees is they all lead to a little ski out that's always bumpy and tracked out but it's surprisingly fun if you like little side hits. This now brings us to the final area at Isola lifts number three and four. For intermediate riders on a clear day, Heavenly View is probably where you want to be, as the run is nice and mellow with an amazing view. And then for advanced and expert riders, this is the area with the most terrain, and it seems to get skied out a lot slower than the area under the Isola number one lift. All right, first uh, day riding the Isola number three quad. The terrain here is probably, I would say it's the best of all of Rizutsu. Like the, uh, just looking at the maps right here. The Isola number one quad is the one that the most people go to, I think. It is really good over there, but it, it gets more tracked out for sure. You're almost skiing at a sideways angle. The run ends up being pretty short, actually. You kind of ski about like a couple hundred meters and then you're just kind of traversing across a kind of a ski snowboard track for the rest of the way. On Isola number three, 
I think this is the best part of the mountain. The most little hits and little cliffs and stuff like that too. I'm not going too hard, but I'm sure on a nice like powder day, it'd be really fun. I think for the rest of the season, this is probably where I'll spend most of my time. There's no lodge at the bottom of the run, unfortunately. So if you want to rest, you have to go down to another base, but it's a little trade off, right? So, oh, my legs are getting sore and tired. So I'm just going to relax for the rest of the day do some cruisers and uh, maybe enjoy the, the nice weather. So the big question is, is Rizutsu a good ski resort and is it worth going to? And the answer is it's amazing, and it's easily top 5 for me including places like Whistler, Revelstoke, Snowbird, and Mammoth Mountain that I've skied at in North America. It has a little something for everyone, and the fact that you can ski right onto the lift on a powder day and still be getting fresh tracks well into the afternoon is something that's getting more rare in North America these days. Oh, Quintana? <laughs> you got this. Oh, no <laughs> binding. <laughs> you all right, man? Eh? Rizutsu. Because <laughs> you know, Sarah, I mean, Olaf, Rudolph.